Today we're going to talk about equivalent ratios using word problems at the website IXL. Are these ratios equivalent? 18 meters every 12 days and three meters every two days. Well, let's take a look at this one two different ways. First of all, we're comparing meters to days. We have 18 meters is every 12 days. So 18 is meters, 12 is days. And we're comparing that to three meters, three goes on meters, to every two days. And this is what we're trying to determine whether or not these are equivalent. There's two ways that I'm gonna show you right now. One way to tell if they're equivalent is there something that you can multiply times three halves to make it equal to 18 twelfths? And if there is, if these are equal to each other, then they're equivalent. And I would say the answer is yes. We could multiply this by six. Three times six is 18, and two times six is 12, and that would work. Another way that we could determine their equivalence would be trying to cross multiply. Does three times 12 equal 18 times two. If the cross products are equal, then the fractions are equivalent. And since three times 12 is 36 and 18 times two is also 36, then we've shown a second way that yes, these are equivalent. And since these are equivalent, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and submit. Here's our next example. Are these ratios equivalent? Two large boats for every eight medium boats or eight large boats for every 18 medium boats. Let's check it out. So let's use the words large and medium to guide us as we try to set up our proportion. So once again, we have two large, two large to eight medium being compared to eight large and 18 medium boats. And I'll give you two ways to think about whether or not these are equivalent. The first is try reducing each fraction and see if they're equal. So two eighths, I can divide by two and that equals one fourth. And eight eighteenths, I can also divide by two, and that's four ninths, which I can see does not equal one fourth, and that's one way to think about it. The second way that I could think about it would be the cross multiplying, because if they're equivalent, their cross products would be equal. And so I can multiply eight times eight, which is 64, and two times 18, which is 36, where I can see that indeed, this is not equivalent ratios. And so we will go ahead and click no and submit.